Well, Stacey Abrams set the right aflame when she said in a panel discussion that there was no such thing as a heartbeat at six weeks, that that sound was manufactured by the machines to give men control over women's bodies. As soon as she said this, legions of many van Americans took to the internet being like, nah, -uh, I see my baby's heartbeat at six weeks. Don't tell me I didn't. One of the best days of my life. You want to explain to these people, we know you saw something. It's just it would be more accurate to say that you saw some flashing electrical signals from a mass of cells that may one day develop into a beating heart. Nah, -uh, I sank it. Okay, you sank it. Okay. They were outraged. They said this is some conspiracy theory type stuff from her, which I would dispute because if you Google, like I did, the words fetal heartbeat six weeks, all the top results are from medical professionals warning people that that terminology is at best misleading for reasons I already explained. I'm surprised that these people missed that considering their fondness for doing research. Yeah, all that research they do, they never ran across that. That's weird. I guess we all know in terms of doing your own research, multiple articles from reputable sources pale in comparison to a YouTube video shared by your buddy who agrees with you on everything. Now, that's where you go for research. Also, as always, I think there's at least a little bit of projection going on here because these people are like, we don't need this kind of misleading, alarmist propaganda when we should be talking about the real problems in this country. Things like migrant caravans, the integrity of high school women's sports, and teachers training kids to poop in litter boxes. These are the real issues. <laughs> God, I hope Georgia don't mess this one up, man. Regardless how you feel about this thing today, Stacey Abrams has proven objectively at this point that she will pour her blood, sweat, and tears into working for the people of Georgia. Meanwhile, Brian Kemp's number one selling point in his last campaign was pretending to ride around in a modified school bus lassoing Mexicans like a character in a racist comic book. Nowadays, he mostly just takes credit for things that the Democrats in Washington have done for the state. The choice is clear, y'all, both here and between Reverend Warnock and smush-brained Herschel. All right, you can either have two people with proven track records of working for Georgians of every ilk or two culture war cartoons, okay? And I'm not going to lie, there's a lot riding on this, Georgia. As a fellow Southerner, I can tell you, a lot of eyes on y'all, okay? Because if the Southern states are a group of dysfunctional siblings from a family of degenerate alcoholics, then Georgia's the one that got out of rehab, landed a real good job nobody thought they could get. Ever since, we've all been worried that they're probably going to screw it up. They've been teetering. But for now, come on, Georgia. You could do this, Georgia. Yeah, the rest of us, we're resigned to the fact that we're probably going to die in a gutter one day. But you, Georgia, you can do this. <laughs> come on. Love y'all. Hey, YouTube, what's up? I put the little circles in the square up there. Watch another video. Subscribe to the channel. Most importantly, if you can, if I'm coming near you, click that other circle and check out the tour at TreyCrowder.com and come and see me if I'm coming nearby. Uh, either way, I appreciate y'all being here and uh, love you like chicken. See you bye.